So what is a good free antivirus for Windows XP and Windows Vista? Well, that's another week of tech support finished. One thing I've noticed this week is there are a lot of people who still have Windows XP or Windows Vista. Windows XP expired three years ago, which means there haven't been any security updates for three years. Windows Vista expired a month ago, so that's also not getting security updates anymore. So I understand this is the real world and people can't afford to upgrade to the latest thing all the time. So uh, I understand and I want to help people keep those computers secure. So. Uh, I'm always looking for the best free antivirus and in this case the best free antivirus for Windows XP and Windows Vista. Now normally when I'm looking at free antivirus I'd recommend either Sophos Home or Windows Defender otherwise known as Microsoft Security Essentials or Bitdefender but none of those work on Windows Vista or Windows XP. So what do I recommend? Well I would say the two best solutions are either Avast or AVG. Both are free. Both want to offer you a more premium software, so they're looking to get you in as a free customer and try and put you onto the more expensive packages. Both AVG and Avast should stop you getting viruses, malware, all the usual nasty things. The one thing Avast used to do, and it stopped doing it now, they used to make you register, they used to make you give your email address before you could activate it for free. They've stopped doing that now, which is quite nice. They both have a huge install base, so given the number of people, a huge number of people around the world who have either Avast or AVG, those people are helping to keep your product safe. You can get AVG from avg.com and you can get Avast from avast.com. I would say they've both got their weaknesses. They both try and talk you into the paid version, which you don't really need. They pester you with these adverts quite a lot to upgrade. Um, so provided you're quite good at looking out for this kind of thing, you don't click on something that says give me a 30 day trial of a better product. Um, if they try and give you any other product that's related, just say no to that. Sometimes you have to look for the small print for those things. But as long as you look out for those little adverts and try and avoid them, you should be fine with either. I'd say AVG is the worst for nagging you. Um, Avast nags you a little bit but not quite as much. AVG tries to put you onto a product called PC TuneUp. You don't need that, you can get a perfectly good TuneUp utility called CCleaner, which is available free from filehippo.com. Avast will try and give you a browser extension called SafePrice, you don't need that. That will try and watch when you go onto shopping websites and try and persuade you to go to a cheaper shopping website. So I install both on people's computers all the time. I'd say, if you ask me which one's my favourite, I'd say Avast. So yeah, I'd say install Avast on your computer and it'll keep it safe. It won't be as safe as someone who's got Windows 10 or Windows 7. Don't forget you're still not getting those security updates from Microsoft, so uh, just be really careful. Don't do banking or online shopping or anything like that on Windows XP or Windows Vista. If you need to do those things, I'd really recommend getting a newer computer, even if it's just a tablet or something. So that's it really. If you install either Avast or AVG, let me know in the comments below how you get on. And if there's anything you'd like to know about computers, internet, technology, I'd love to hear your questions. I'll do my best to answer them. Leave your questions in the comments below or tweet me at Dave's Tech Rescue. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow with a new video.